Hello kids! It's time for the Vinji Kids Bible Story Time. I'm here to tell you the Bible story for the week and then we have some fun crafts, songs, and activities to help you learn the story a little bit better. If you remember last week we talked about the Passover meal and all of the special meals and traditions that we have in our lives that help connect us to our family stories and to God's stories. And uh, we talked about how the Passover meal started uh, in remembrance of the time when God helped deliver the Hebrew people out of slavery in Egypt. Well, this week, we are picking up and continuing that story. We're talking about what happened after the Hebrew people left Egypt. And you won't find this story in your story Bible, but if you and your families would like to follow along, you can find it in the book of Exodus, chapter 32. Let's take a look. With Moses' help, God freed the Hebrew people from slavery in Egypt. But it wasn't very clear what was supposed to happen next. God had promised to give the Hebrew people land that they could live on. But after they left Egypt, all they saw was wilderness. Actually, it looked more like this. There was no food or water, so God sent bread from the heaven for the Hebrew people to live on. Eventually, they reached a place called Mount Sinai. The people set up camp at the bottom of the mountain, and Moses went up the mountain. God met Moses there and gave him a bunch of new rules and commandments for the people to follow. There were a lot of rules, and it took a long time for Moses to come down. Meanwhile, at the bottom of the mountain, the Hebrew people started to worry. They went to Moses' brother Aaron and said to him, Moses has been gone for a long time and we don't know what happened to him. We want to make another God who will show us what to do next. Aaron answered them by saying, Take off your gold rings and earrings. Oh, and all of your family's rings and earrings too. Bring those to me. And Aaron took all of the jewelry, melted it down, and molded it into a golden calf. <clears throat> a golden calf. That's better. The people were happy with it. This golden calf was much easier to see than God. And so Aaron made an altar for the golden calf, and the people worshipped it. When God heard what the people were doing, God was very angry. God told Moses, Do you see what your people are doing? They have made an idol and are worshiping it like it is a god. And God instructed Moses, go down the mountain right now. And so Moses did. I don't know about you, but I don't think about God getting angry very often. Why do you think that God was so angry? The Hebrew people were worried and scared when Moses didn't show up as quickly as they expected him to. They weren't sure what was going to come next or what they were supposed to do. What do you do when you feel worried or scared? Sometimes I wrap myself up in a blanket to help me feel safe and protected. Sometimes I eat ice cream to comfort myself. Sometimes I talk to a friend to help me calm down. Hi, I'm scared. When the Hebrew people were worried about what was coming next, they built an idol, a statue of a golden calf. And this made God angry because it separated them from God. They believed that the idol would give them safety and security instead of trusting that God would keep them safe. All this after God had just kept them safe and protected leaving Egypt. And we maybe don't have statues of golden calves, but uh, we probably do have idols in our own lives too. That's anything that gets in the way of our relationship with God. It can be things like money, power, jealousy, selfishness. Um, but God wants us to know that like God looked out for the Hebrew people all of those years ago, God is looking out for us now too. And we know that we can trust God when we're scared. We can trust God when we're happy. We can trust God when the future is uncertain and God will always be there. Let's pray together. Dear God, we are sorry for all of the times when we have let things come between you and us. Please forgive us 
and thank you for being a God that we can put our trust in. Amen. Bye, we'll see you next week.